Hi guys, my name is Dr. Pat and I'm one of the course students here at WH Medical Courses. Uh, today, we're, today we're going to go through the mnemonic Socrates for pain. Uh, as we know, history taking is the single most important part of your assessment of the patient and 90% of the diagnosis lies within the history, which makes this a very useful mnemonic in terms of categorising and understanding a patient's pain in greater detail. Um, following this mnemonic will help you prevent any omissions and make your cyst you taking a lot more systematic. So without further ado, let's go through it. S is for sight. This relates to where, where in the body the pain is. Once you've established the site, you move on to onset. When did this pain start and how has it progressed? Uh, C is for character. Uh, what is the nature of the pain? Patients will use descriptive words at this point like sharp, dull, crushing, uh, etc. And there are lots of other natures and characters as well. R pertains to radiation. Uh, does the pain move around? Does it go to any other part of the body? If it's chest pain, does it go up into the shoulder tip or up into the jaw? A is for association. Are there any associated features with this pain? The associations will depend on the system in question and your questioning will uh, change with every patient for association. T is for timing. This looks in a bit more detail about the evolution of the pain since it first presented. And E is for exacerbating and alleviating factors. Um, does anything make your pain better or worse? This may also help in uh, making your diagnosis. S is score. Um, we will ask the patient to score their pain on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being no pain and 10 being the worst pain they've ever had. Uh, once you've done all of this, you'll have a much better understanding of the patient's pain and hopefully this will help you in diagnosis as well. That's it for this particular video. For more similar videos and bite-sized information, please visit our website, passplab.net. Subscribe to our newsletter for information on uh, being a doctor within the UK and much more. Thank you.